Um, the alcohol uh, over long term can also affect um, the person's ability to clot and so they can excessively bleed and bruise. Um, and then the worst case scenario, they can have bleeding from uh, what's called varices, in the, which are th near the esophagus. Um, so this is like a hemorrhoid, but one that's near the esophagus. And if these rupture, it is uh, very close to calling it game over. Uh, nowadays, a lot of these times, people who are identified as alcoholics can have scopes done, endoscopes, uh, where they check for uh, these varices and they, they can uh, band them or they can block them from growing any larger and reduce the risk of them rupturing. But in the olden days, a lot of people died uh, from bleeding out um, by uh, esophageal varice rupture. Uh, so there's also a whole host of changes that occur on the skin as well. Um, I guess the best way to summarize it though is long-term uh, problems are pretty dire and can worsen and can be life-threatening, uh, but it does take a long time for somebody to get to that stage. There's a lot more opportunity before than a lot of time for a person to get some help. Um, it's never too late to get help and to, uh, to uh, recover from the long-term effects of the alcohol. So to summarize it, the symptoms of um, Alcohol dependency can vary in the short term from uh, interference uh, and consequences in a person's life and performance. Um, later on, it can cause withdrawal syndromes, things like uh, agitation, tremors, delirium, hallucinations, even seizure. And then over the longer term, with prolo prolonged and sustained use of alcohol, uh, the, the major consequences are liver failure, hepatitis, cirrhosis, uh, brain problems, i.e. encephalopathy, uh, clotting problems, and esophageal varices. <laughs>